Hello and welcome guys on Creative Gardening. This is Murtaza and today in this video I'll be showing how to decorate your pots and today I have a pot with me but uh, you guys can see that this is not a pot. It is not a pot, just take it from me. So what is this? I'll tell you a backstory of this pot. This is basically a 20 litre watering can. Uh, it was a, not a watering, watering can? No, it's, it was not a watering can but this is a 20 litre water bottle like uh, the packed bottle which we get here in India for uh, for drinking water can so it was all dirty and I found it junk so I thought why to why not use this for gardening so what I did is I just chopped off that thing into half and I uh, threw off the leftover part and I just painted the uh, the that thing the I painted the that uh, transparent thing with a blue baby blue color so that uh, it will look good and it would anyone won't think that it's a it's not a pot so now you can see it is like uh, I had a, I grow, I had been growing some uh, vegetables in this and this is worn out after two seasons so I thought why not decorate this pot again and I think every time I do painting with the pots and all let's let me try something different so in this video I am going to show you something different from painting to decorate your pot okay so for decorating the pot you need first a pot or any of your old stuff which you are using for gardening you need that old stuff the next thing you need is a sack this is a sack which I got it from a Kirana shop you can get it in a Kirana shop or you can get it at an art store or the people who are selling uh, selling these uh, crafty items and all you can find uh, you can find a roll of that over there but I found this at a Kirana store and I got this next thing you need is a pair of scissors to cut it and for sticking it you I am using a hot glue over here I am using this hot glue for the first time so I don't have any experience but I am going to try using this hot glue and if it's if and if this is not working I'll be using some tape or or before that I was using some very quick so anything I can end up with using for sticking this thing also I forgot to say that you need a measuring tape for measuring the pot and cutting this thing so you need a measure tape for measuring it so this pot is around 10 inch and uh, I'll be cutting an 11 inch from this sack because this will take up the space of so I'm taking total of 12 inch and cutting this I'm left out with this small little gunny bag and and here it goes in I think my measurements were wrong so what I'm going to do is as my measurements are wrong no it's not wrong I guess it is wrong I'll I'll take this part now it happens so my plan is something like this I'll put it over here why will it so I have cut this uh, I've just opened that uh, knots which were over here and I just cut that thing into size so that it fits perfectly over here around this whole pot and uh, at this moment I think I don't need to use that glue gun also which I'm very excited because uh, I want to use the glue gun because it, it's the first time I'll be using it so but what what I think I can do is I'll take a safety pin over here I'll just press this hard and I'll uh, put the safety pin over here so I think it will work but for extra security first I'll use the glue gun and then I'll use the safety pins to just for the extra support and this overlapping will go inside glue gun time so uh, you can see my hands are shaking like
when the bathroom is on. Zir, 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 zir. Whew. I need to press this thing. I'll take this book and I'll just press it so that I don't get my hand hurt. Press it. Oh, 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 oh. Literally, I bought this glue gun around a year ago and I'm using it after a year. This was been used by my sister. So, these guys are lucky. I tend to buy things and they get a chance to use it. I'll use this. Oh! I'm such a mess! What I'll do is I'll first use the hot glue gun over here for sticking these parts. I'm loving how this is looking like I'm pretty happy with my work what do you guys think just let let me know in the comment section okay that's not bad once it's filled with some beautiful plants and all I think this thing will look good okay guys so this is how my pot turned out and what I did is after adding some hot glue I added some I added some this uh, safety pins so that this is uh, tight and secured and after doing that I added this uh, bow like it's a ribbon it's a lace basically and it was left over and I got it from my mother thanks mom and she gave me and well I tied a bow yes I tied it I did not take a help of any of the girls out my mom or my sister I just do, uh, did it myself just let me know if it's right or wrong uh, any of the girls out and next what I did is I added a drop of hot glue over here and at the back so that this uh, remains as it is and then the fun part I did I planted this I did not take that on camera because uh, the, the video would be very long if I take that in the camera so let me tell you what plants I used over here this is a croton it's a lemon lemon light croton uh, it's called Dracaena. It's a Dracaena lemon light. And next, I used two hanging. Uh, these ha these are indoor hanging plants, and this is also an indoor plant. So I'm going with again an indoor combo, with, with, but on a lighter color palette. There's a warm yellow, lime yellow color. This is also a lightish green color, and that's again a draping plant which will drape all over here. That's what I want in from here. And next is also this is also uh, an indoor plant. Uh, it's an uh, these are these plants basically I found that in in the hanging section in the in the nursery. So I kept these two at the corners and center over here. This is a I bought this plant a long time ago, and uh, this is like I think it will flower in some days. Uh, it's having some buds over here, 
and it has this light nice color i have been like uh, keeping this in an in a shade partial shade and it's doing well so i thought it will go good with the combo so i added this plant in the center after this and this is how this thing turned out so this was all about turning your old pots into new one i think i am liking the whole the, the thing it's looking because uh, I know it has this drab looking thing but I am going to put it against a wall so this is not going to be seen this thing will be only seen and it's a pretty in, pretty it's a pretty inexpensive way to upcycle your things and I like upcycle things I like upcycling things a lot and make sure that you follow me on uh, Instagram and uh, Facebook page and all and my Snapchat I have so many things going on over there I post daily things about what I'm doing because these making these videos take a lot of time but instagram after i'm done i just post videos what i'm doing uh, post small videos and some, um, some photos of my projects daily and please share with your friends to support me uh, on doing this thing on the channel and uh, i hope you guys like this video and uh, make sure if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe that uh, you hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications so that uh, whenever i post a video you will be updated and leave me a like and i'll see you in the next one bye bye